Hello, good morning to everyone. Welcome back to Act Mathematics class 12th. So, in this chapter 6 is applications of derivatives. Let us see what is the important uh, minute quick revision topics in this chapter. Okay. First one is equation of tangent and normal. Tangent at x point x1, y1 is given by y minus y1 equal to f of x1 into x minus x1 when f dash of x1 is real and normal at x1 y1 is y minus y1 equal to minus 1 by f dash of x1 into x minus x1 where f dash of x1 is non-zero real. So, this is the equation of tangent and normal topic. Tangent form an external point give you point p of a comma b which does not lie on the curve y equal to f of x, then the equation of possible tangents to the curve y equal to f of x passing through a open interval a comma b can be found by solving for the point of contact q. Here f dash of h equal to f of h minus b by h, my h minus a. Okay. See here, this is the line, this line is going to See, this line is uh, going to passing through a comma b point, right. This is y and curve, see here curve is y equal to f of x, right. This y equal to f of x is passing through the point h comma f of h, right. So, then derivative of y, what happened f dash of h equal to f of h minus b by h minus a, right. And equation of tangent is y minus b equal to f of h minus b by h minus a into x minus a. Okay. This is the tangent form and an external point. Next, length of tangent no, comma normal sub tangent comma sub normal. See here graph is this one, this x axis, y axis. So, here n is m t are points and p of h comma a is the another point. So, next here in this case p t, p t means this one equal to mark a into square root of 1 plus 1 by m square, this is the length of the tangent. So, this is the length of the tangent is, is mark a into square root of 1 plus 1 by m square. Next one is p n equal to mark a into square root of 1 plus m square equal to length of normal. Length of normal is this one, length of normal. Next t m equal to, so what is the t m? This one mark a by m length of substangent, this is length of substangent and m n, m n is the mark a m length of subnormal, this is the length of subnormal. Okay. This is the third one. And next angle between the curves, next topic is angle between the curves. Angle between two intersection curves is defined as the cute angle between their tangent or normals at the point of intersection of two curves as shown in figure. The above figure tan theta equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So, this is the angle between the two curves. So, shortest distance between two curves, what is the shortest distance between two curves? So, shortest distance between two non-intersecting differentiable curves is always along the common normal, wherever, so common normal, okay. Next one, rules theorem. If a function f defined on a closed a comma b is, just uh, in above slides I have we seen no rules theorem. So, once again here also once again check it continuous on closed interval, differentiable on a open interval and f of a equal to f of b. This is the rules theorem statement. Then there exist at least one real number c between a and b such that f dash of c equal to 0 that is the rules theorem. Next logarithms mean value theorem shortcut L m v t. If a function f defined on closed interval a b is co continuous on closed interval and second one is differentiable on a b, then there exists at least one real numbers between a and b such that f of b minus f of a by b minus a equal to f dash of c. So, this is the L m m v t statement, theorem statement. Next one is eighth one is useful form formulate of mensuration to remember. Okay. 
value of co cubide. So, these are the mensuration useful formulas. Okay. See, useful formula of mensuration to remember. So, what is the value of your cuboid formula is L B H. Surface area of cuboid equal to 2 into L B plus B H plus H L. Here H is height, B is breadth, L is length. Okay. Next, volume of cube equal to A cube. Surface area of cube equal to C 6 A square. Volume of your cone formula is 1 by third. 1 by 3rd pi r square h curved surface surface area of cone curved surface area of cone formula is pi r l where l is here slant height okay curved surface area of a cylinder that formula is 2 pi r h so these are the useful formulas of the mensuration you should remember in your mind next Total surface area of a cylinder formula is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Volume of a sphere is 4 by 4 by 3 pi r cube. Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. Area of circular sector equal to 1 by 2 r square theta, where theta is in radians. So, these are the important formulas. Volume of a prism equal to area of the base, base into height. Lateral surface area of prism equal to perimeter of the base into height. Total surface area of a prism equal to lateral surface area plus 2 into area of the base. And volume of a pyramid formula is 1 by third area of the base into height. Curved surface area of a pyramid equal to 1 by 2 into perimeter of the base and slant height. Note that slant surfaces of a pyramid are triangles, both are, are triangles. Okay. So, these are the important formulas, useful formulas of a mensuration. Okay. You should remember these formulas. Okay. Hello. See in class 12th. Chapter 6 is application of derivatives. Remaining, la, remaining last important, important quick reason topic. Let us see what is this. Increasing function. See here increasing function. So, increasing function definition is f of x is said to be increasing d 1 if for every x 1 comma x 2 belongs to d 1, x 1 is greater than x 2 that implies f of x 1 is greater than f of x 2. This is the increasing function form. Okay. Next, non decreasing function. Non decreasing means greater than or equal to f of x is said to be non in decreasing in d 1 if for every x 1 comma x 2 belongs to d 1 x 1 is greater than x 2 here points are x 1 comma x 2 belongs to d 1. Okay. x 1 is greater than x 2 that implies f of x 1 is greater than less than or equal to less than or equal to f of x 2. So, this is the non decreasing function. Sorry, non decreasing means non decreasing function means x 1 is greater than x 2 that implies f of x 1 is greater than or equal to f of x 2 that is the non decreasing function. Non decreasing function means it is nothing but increasing function. Okay. Next one. Next, to, next one is decreasing function. Next topic is decreasing function. Decreasing function means opposite the increasing function. f of x is said to be decreasing d 1. If for every x 1 comma x 2 belongs to d 1, x 1 is greater than x 2. That implies f of x 1 is less than f of x 2. So, this condition is satisfied. Then the given function is said to be decreasing function. Okay. Non increasing function, non increasing function means it is nothing but decreasing function only. f of x is said to be non increasing in d 1, if for every x 1 comma x 2 belongs to d 1, x 1 is greater than x 2, that implies f of x 1 is less than or equal to f of x 2, same, same definition only. 
okay but here less than or equal to so that is called non increasing function okay that is called non increasing function so basic theorems so some basic theorems we will see in this uh, chapter let f be a function that is continuous in closed interval a b and differentiable in open interval a b then f of x is non decreasing function in closed interval a b if f of dash of x is greater than or equal to 0 in open interval a comma b f of x is an increasing function in closed interval second uh, second statement is if f dash of x is greater than 0 in open interval a comma b and third one is if f of x is a non increasing function in closed interval a comma b if f dash of x is less than or equal to 0 in open interval a comma b and fourth one is f of x is decreasing function in closed interval a comma b if f dash of x is less than 0 in open interval a comma b next one is next topic is maxima and minima if f of x has a local local extreme value at x equal to c then either f dash of c equal to 0 or f dash of c does not exist first derivative test if f or let f of x be continuous in some neighborhood c minus h comma c plus h of c then first one is f of x has a local maximum at x equal to c if what are the conditions a is x equal to c is critical point of f of x and b is f dash of x is greater than 0 in c minus h comma c and f dash of x is less than 0 in c comma in open interval c comma c plus h here in moving from left to right through the critical point c through the critical point c f dash of x is changes a sign from plus to minus so change the signs plus 2 minus here f of x ok next second one is f of x has a local minimum at x equal to c then what is the condition if a is x equal to c is a critical point of f of x b is f dash of x is less than 0 in c minus h comma c in open interval c minus h comma c and f dash of x is greater than 0 in open interval c comma c plus h here in moving from left to right here moving is left to right through the critical point c f dash of x changes the sign from minus to plus minus to plus if f dash of x does not change sign in moving through c then there is neither a maximum or a minimum at c x equal to c so that is the third point so next one is next topic is second derivative test so what is the second derivative test and what is the general form let us see let f be a function such that f of x is continuous in open interval c minus h comma c plus h f dash of c equal to 0 and third one is f double dash of c is adjust then first is f of x as a local maximum at x equal to c if f double dash of c is less than 0 and second one is f of x as a local minimum at x equal to c if f double dash of c is greater than 0. So, here second derivative test now so that is why here f is second derivative test ok f double dash of c is greater than 0 next and so on so on nth derivative test so what is the nth derivative test let f be a function such that f dash of c equal to f double dash of c equal to and so on so on so on and last n minus nth derivative of c equal to 0 these derivatives all are equal to 0 then second one is f nth of nth derivative of c is not equal to 0 so this is the test of nth derivative test ok then so f of x has a local maximum at x equal to c if n is even and f nth derivative of c at a point c is less than 0 second one is f of x has a local minimum at x equal to c if n is even and nth derivative of c is greater than 0 and if f of x has no local extreme at x equal to c if n is odd so these are the nth derivative test and rules okay thank you